welcome to my channel. This is the, the MQL5 is better device of programming. Uh, in this video, we will be looking at how to code the trailing stop loss. Now, uh, what is the trailing stop loss? Uh, it's one where you the, the stop loss you're going to set is going to be changing as uh, the market moves. Rather than the fixed type where you set a stop loss or stop loss to maybe say 0.1, now this, if the market moves in, a, in, a, in the positive direction, uh, your stop loss also goes the same way. Now, um, let's begin. So, if you've been following this video, you will know how we got to this place. Um, before, let's call the function check trailing stop loss. Check trailing stop. We're going to create a function that will help us to implement this. So, it's going to take an integer as our pips. Pips is, uh, <coughs> pips is just, as a pips is just, uh, by how many, like, points do you want to stop it? Something like 40, 50, 60. So now we create a for loop to go around the open positions and then string symbol equals you get a symbol uh, the currency pair you're currently on. Now if that currency pair is this, then you can now say if the currency pair on the position you're looping through is the current. So we need to get a number of, uh, of parameters right here. So we need the bid price, we need the action price. We get it from uh, symbol info double, and we run it to the nearest digits. Now we need the ticket number for this current position. So you assign long ticket, we use position get integer. We need a current stop loss, position get double. We need a position type, we need to know is this position a buy or a sell. We need a current price, this is position get double, position price current. Now we need to say, we do the math like this, the current price minus the current stop loss. If it is greater than the stop loss you want, then we can work on it. We say double new stop loss, double take profit. We're not going to change the take profit, so we just get what is the current take profit, whatever is there, let it remain. Now, if position type is zero, that is, is a buy. How do we get the new stop loss? We remember we want to change the stop loss according to the market, according to what the current price is. If you're making profits, you want to try to raise the stop loss. So the new stop loss will be the current price minus the stop loss point. Now if it is not, say buy then, the new price will be plus, the current price plus. That is a sell, you just adjust the stop loss. So with this, you can now say, okay, trade that mod position modifier. Position modifier is a method we're using. It takes as input the ticket number, and you stop loss, the take profits, which we are not changing. Okay, so now we can uh, try to use this function. Uh, in one of our previous video where we did the RSI trader, I want to drop use use this function in that code. So I just copy and paste the RSI trader. Just uh, we've gone over this in another video. So this is all we doing here, and then without try to insert. Uh, function check trading stop and put uh, this into it. So now I think we're good to run our program. So we compile. So no error, no money. We can now go to our trade environment. So choose the trading stop loss and then now we can start. So I want this to be slow so we can observe. So you see how the trading stop works. This is a stop loss. It moves as the price moves. You see? So you can increase your profit margin here with this. Thank you for watching the video. Um, if you have any comments, use the comment section, please. Uh, remember to subscribe so that you can get future videos. Thank you for watching.